So one of the biggest challenges Rolls-Royce faced was how do you securely transfer all the vast amount of data generated by the new test bed A facility into Azure Analytics Cloud. Flight delays and disruption cost the airline industry millions of pounds every year. And so fundamentally, for every minute that aircraft isn't on the ground can save the airline a significant amount of money. Therefore, there's significant pressure on understanding where efficiencies can be gained. The solution we're delivering as part of Testbed 80 allows us to deliver a far larger amount of data, but not just capture it, but to analyze the content within it and look for those patterns. We co-created a solution to provide secure, resilient access from BT uh, into the Microsoft Azure platform via our global uh, wide area network service, which provided direct access from Rolls-Royce infrastructure into the Microsoft Azure cloud. So the data system developed within Testbed 80 generates a huge amount of data. There are 10,000 different parameters that we can capture from the engine and that can generate up to 200,000 individual pieces of data every single second. And as you can imagine, the data set that results from that type of activity is huge, up to 10 terabytes. Some of the technology challenges that are presented by a data set that size involve the storage, transmission and analysis of the data. So from a solution perspective, it broke down into a number of different components. Reinforcements in the LAN and the wide area network, security overlay to make sure that transmission, the data is transmitted over the, the WAN in a secure way. And then the storage within the uh, Azure public cloud that allows that data to be collected and stored for future analysis. One of the major benefits of moving into the cloud is the elastic nature of the storage. So we're able to scale up much quicker than we would do for any kind of on-prem solution and without the CapEx as well. So from a testbed perspective, what we can do is we can capture that data and upload it and store it and analyze it without having to invest or stand up any local infrastructure. Likewise, at the end of the test, we can scale it down, we can remove the data, we can do whatever we need to. That flexibility is really important to Rolls-Royce. We were driven by some extremely aggressive um, client-driven timelines of testbed 80 opening up. So what would traditionally probably take a year to achieve we achieved in under six months. And that was only achieved by collaboration between BT, Microsoft, and Rolls-Royce. Our managed Azure networking services take customers all the way from conceptual design of cloud solutions through build and operation to future evolution of their services. Our services include the initial consultancy, managed cloud security and managed services, for Azure virtual wide area networking for connectivity deep into the cloud. Digital enablement is key to have everything and everyone connected, which is essential for digital manufacturing. And we provide skills, scale, and the speed of deployment for the industry. Given the increased rate of change, having trusted partners is a critical thing for Rolls-Royce to allow us to deliver our vision and strategy. I see Testbed 80 is a great example of that working in practice, as we're able to work with the likes of Microsoft and BT to deliver something that's truly groundbreaking. Testbed 80 was the first time we've ever done it at this type of scale and complexity. Therefore, I see this as a, a good use case that we can use to go forward and demonstrate our capabilities and potential future opportunities as well.